What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, we got Zor's location and inventory, so roll the intros and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So Zor is on Io in the giant scar. So once you teleport to the giant scar, simply jump straight on your sparrow and head this direction. He's chilling over in a cave, pretty much like creepy people do. Good old tentacle face. Let's see, hopefully this time, fingers crossed, he has actually something decent. I mean I say this pretty much every single time and Zor usually doesn't have anything decent, but we shall see. Good old tentacle face, what have you got? Alrighty, so we have starting things off. Well, actually, this week isn't too bad. For one thing, anyway. Let's start things off, though, with the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. It has, yeah, a fairly decent perk. Fusion Harness. Provides an additional Fusion Grenade charge. And Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy. I will say the first part of that is fairly decent. Second part, not so much. However, it is fairly decent in most situations. And I will say it is a viable robes. Viable exotic for the Warlock. Go ahead and pick it up if you have not got it. 23 legendary shards. Moving on there we have Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan. This grants the perk Dreaded Visage. It grants melee, grenade and class ability energy when damaged and void ability kills grant health regeneration. I will say this is actually okay in almost all situations. However, the whole thing of having to take damage to actually do more damage isn't really the greatest kind of idea. However, it is viable and it is fairly good in a lot of situations. Go ahead and pick it up if you have not got it. 23 legendary shards. Moving on though to the Hunter's Lucky Pants. This has the perk Illegally Modded Holster. It increases hand cannon ready speed and initial accuracy. Yeah, this one's not really the greatest. I will say it's not actually viable in really any situation. It does look kind of cool, I will say that. It's got that going for it, the aesthetic and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's not really the greatest exotic. Go ahead and pick it up if you have not got a 23 legendary shards for your hunter or huntress. But finally, moving on, we have Merciless, the fusion rifle for this week. Holy Jesus, I will say this thing is freaking hype. 29 legendary shards and the main perk is called Conserve Momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Now that is really freaking decent in almost all situations, especially strikes, raids, that kind of stuff where you've got big bosses that have a lot of health. This thing melts, especially with a tether, I will say it is really hype. It's also got Chambered Compensator, it's got Extended Mag, it's got Impetus, which reloading immediately after kill increases weapon damage for a short time. So you've either got the whole thing of fire everything and do massive damage, or fire a few and reload and still do pretty fair damage. It is almost viable in everything. It's actually okay and it's not really the greatest, but it's not really the worst. It is fairly fairly up there on the actual tier list and I will say pick it up if you have not got it. Once again, 29 legendary shards. This has been Zor's location and inventory for the weekend. This has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and it has been kind of knowledgeable or given you an insight into some things in Destiny 2. Then leave a like down below and be much appreciated. Share the video around so people know where Zor is. Leave a comment. Let me know if you actually pick anything up from Zor. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. But until next time, this is Zach Novak signing off. Peace out.